The concept of traveling through time by mechanical means was first popularized by H.G. Wells' 1895 novel The Time Machine. In general, time travel stories focus on the consequences of going into the past or future. The main premise of such creations usually involves changing history, either intentionally or by accident, and the ways in which altering the past affects the future, resulting in a different present or future for the traveler upon their return home. Other times, the premise is that the past cannot be changed, or that the future is predetermined, with the protagonist's actions being relevant or inconsequential to the original events. Some stories also focus on the paradoxes and alternate realities that come as a result of the journey, rather than the journey itself. Sometimes they carry with them a social critique, as time travel provides a necessary distancing effect that allows science fiction or fantasy to deal with contemporary issues metaphorically. Time travel is the concept of moving forward or backward to different points in time, just as we do in space. According to the conventional description of relativity theory, material particles moving through space-time move forward in time, into the future, and to one side or the other of space. The fact that the total energy and mass are positive is related to the fact that the particles move into the future. A proven aspect of relativity theory is that traveling at speeds close to the speed of light causes time dilation, whereby the time of an individual traveling at that speed runs more slowly. From the perspective of the traveler, external time appears to flow more quickly, causing the traveler to arrive at a place further into the future. However, this phenomenon in itself is not what is usually referred to as time travel. The concept of time travel has been frequently used to examine the consequences of physical theories such as special relativity, general relativity, and quantum field theory. Although there is no experimental evidence for time travel and there are important theoretical reasons to consider the existence of some kind of time travel possible. In any case, current theories of physics do not allow for any possibility of time travel. Time travel in science fiction and fantasy can generally be grouped into two types, since based on the variety of methods they would be extremely numerous, which are in turn subdivided. This type of classification does not relate to the methods of traveling through time, but to the different rules of the timeline. You do not have complete control over time travel. An example of this is the bootstrap paradox, in reference to a self-created object or person from a time loop. This concept of time is often referred to as circular causality. In another variant, Novikov's principle of self-consistency is applied. In simple terms, it states that if an event were to exist and cause a paradox or any change in the past that causes it, then the probability of that event is zero. In the third variant, any event that changes the timeline only creates a new timeline, a parallel universe. The time traveler would be free of paradoxes because he has passed into another universe. In the first variant, the timeline is extremely resistant to change and a great effort is required to change it as in the 22nd of November 63 series. In the second variant, the timeline can be easily changed, as in the Back to the Future movie series. In speculative fiction, there are two types of time travel methods. Gradual method, used in the novel The Time Machine, this type of travel fits better with quantum physics, but it is not very popular in modern science fiction. Perhaps the oldest example is in the 1871 book Alice Through the Looking Glass. The White Queen is living in reverse, although her memory works in both directions. Her type of time travel is uncontrollable. She moves through time at a constant speed of minus one and cannot change it. In the novel Arthur, The Once and Future King, the same idea is used. The wizard Merlin lives in reverse because he was born at the wrong end of time and has to lie from front to back. Some people call it having second sight. Instantaneous method. The most common type of time travel in science fiction is instantaneous movement from one point to another, like changing the needle on a moving vinyl record. There is not even a scientific explanation for this, but its popularity is probably due to the fact that it is more spectacular and makes time travel seem easier. In the comic book Al Feldstein and Joe Orlando's Weird Science, in the story Why Papa Left Home, a time-traveling scientist is greatly shocked to realize that he is his own father. However, in Douglas Adams' The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, they see no problem with the fact that he is his own father, as this is not something a well-adjusted family cannot deal with. 
In the climactic scene of the 1978 Superman film, Lois Lane is killed as a result of her car falling into a crevasse created by an earthquake and being buried by falling debris. Overcome by anguish, Superman decides to defy the advice of his Kryptonian father Jor-El by interfering with Earth history. Superman then travels rapidly around the Earth's axis to return to the instant the earthquake began and physically nullify it. As a result, Lois and the population of California is saved as if this event had not occurred. In the film Time Rider The Adventure of Lyle Swan, the character Lyle Swan is a cross-country biker who goes off course and stumbles upon a testing ground for a time-traveling device that sends him back to 1882. In that time he rides through the American Old West, sleeps with a Spanish woman, and confronts a gang of gunslingers before being rescued from the past, but not before discovering that he is his own great-grandfather. Robert Heinlein's story All You Zombies shows the possible outcome of taking this concept to its logical and absurd conclusion. The time-traveling protagonist is, was, will be his own father, son, mother. In 1992, Harry Turtledove published the novel The Guns of the South, which became popular with the story of a racist white South African who uses a time machine to return to the days of the American Civil War and equips the Confederate Army with 20th century weapons. With this help, they soon win every battle and gladly march on Washington to capture Abraham Lincoln. However, the time machine is arbitrarily limited to be able to take people only a certain number of years into the past, allowing the racist white man's actions to be prevented by making another trip that would prevent the events of the first trip. In most speculative fiction about time, a physical machine is included to transport people through time, but there are also stories that include time travel as a mental discipline, or psychic time travel. An example of this is the illustrated novel Time and Again by Jack Finney, as well as the 1980 film Somewhere in Time. In the novel House on the Strand, the protagonist uses drugs that produce alterations that allow him to experience time travel even though his physical body appears to be in the present. In the book There Will Be Time by Poole Anderson, time travel is portrayed as an ability that some are born with, as well as in the film The Butterfly Effect. The latter depicts time travel as an inherited talent, where the mind or spirit of the individual travels into the past and the traveler is able to change history, returning to the present altar. Another common plot point in fictional stories involves the concept of altering history with evil intent. In these types of stories, the villain attempts to change history in order to alter the present or future, and history must be restored by the protagonist. Sometimes, it is assumed that there is only a limited amount of time available to the hero before history is permanently altered, 